I offer my patients a video of parts of their arthroscopic surgery that I narrate to them during surgery while they are asleep and provide to them on DVD. The example video you will see next is a shortened version of the actual surgery video I provided to this patient. The patient gave permission for online publication of this video. All right, Carl, this is Dr. Eisenberg and the team. We just got into your shoulder joint here. What you see in front of you, this is a cannula bringing fluid outside the joint. Out of that cannula is coming a probe. That probe is one by three millimeters at the tip. Each hash mark is a little faint on this one, but you can see those two hash marks at the tip are one millimeter apart. Just to give you an idea of magnification, above is a, uh, the ball, below is the socket to give you an idea of orientation. I'm gonna give it a tour around your shoulder. The first thing we take a look at here is gonna be your biceps tendon which is right there. I'm going to get behind, I'm going to change my view here and pull that into the joint, take a picture for you. That looks just fine, okay? I'm going to get out of that area. Next thing we're going to take a look at is the biceps insertion onto the socket, which is right here, and that looks just fine. You have a little bit of uh, fraying over right here, the wrinkles, but no big deal, nothing that we um, don't expect. Okay, Carlos, so here's a little shaver tool. It's got a little suction. I'm just going to clean up some of these gray hairs and wrinkles. You may see it has a little oozing when that happens, and that's okay. Uh, we're not going to take anything good out. Just anything that's frayed and might cause some um, catching or, or uh, symptoms, what we call mechanical symptoms in your shoulder. All right, Carlos, so uh, now we're in the subacromial space. Above us will be the CA ligament, which for you is, is nicely intact, doesn't even have significant fraying. And you're going to see bone underneath there. And we're going to expose the bone and look for any bone spur that you have on top of your rotator cuff. We're going to clean that up, and it's also going to allow us to see your chromium, sorry, uh, your clavicle, uh, which is where we're going to work to do your AC joint dissection. All right, so Carla, we're looking from the lateral side now, looking toward the medial side, and rotate a cup below, your chromium is above, and this is a normal flat part of your chromium, and we just started trimming down parts of it. You can see you have a little bit of a bone spur, but really, really nothing significant. We're just trimming it down here uh, for visualization purposes here of your clavicle, and to make sure you don't get any irritation of your rotator cup. All right, Carlos, so we can see now you have plenty of room here. All your, your spur is gone. The, this wand is flat. The top is flat. Now what we're going to do next, we're going to look at your uh, clavicle, which is right here. If we push on it, right there. And what I'm going to look at first, I'm going to get into this spot um, called the space part. And so this is your rotator cuff below. It's got a little frame, but underneath this is bursa. And this is what we call, again, the space part. So I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to part the seeds of these the bursa, so to speak, and you can see it coming through here. And you're going to be able to visualize more of that rotator cuff, which we're going to take a look at in a little bit, but it's also going to help us expose the clavicle, which is right here. So we're going to clean off all the soft tissue around the clavicle bone, which is, again, right there, and I'll show you what it looks like once we're done that. All right, Carla, so here we go. Well, this is your clavicle. I can push up on it. I might just need to push down as you can see again, almost to the very top. You do have a rough clavicle surface. It's not awful, but you're having all that pain there. Um, and that's where when I give you an injection into your AC joint, all your pain went away. So we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, now that we took off some of the soft tissue, we're just gonna do a little bit more here. Uh, we're gonna trim that clavicle down, about 1.2 centimeters at least, at least, to make sure you have plenty of space between your chromium, which is right up top here, and the clavicle. You can see it's hard to get in there right now from here. All right, Carla, we're just starting this resection from the back of the joint, but we're gonna really finish it working from the front of the joint, but we can get a really good angle in your clavicle. But it's, it's easy to reach from the back right now because of our visualization. So we're gonna just get part of it from the back, and then we're gonna finish from the front. All right, Carla, what we're doing is we're going up into the capsule, already the part of your front here, and we're pushing into the clavicle bone. We're just uh, sliding down along the top, you can see it's getting some nice quality tissue there. And then we're going to go forward, we're going to slide down onto the next part of your chromium. Sorry, next, next part. You can see a little bit of a cyst here uh, in your clavicle right there. And that's how we know we're getting some of that arthritis done. So we're just making our way right across. You can see the posterior aspect, which is where it's often missed. We're going to make sure to get that top of the clavicle right here, all the way into your capsule all the way in there, going again immediately. You can see all the snowflakes here as we're going along. And again, just trimming all that end of that bone. I'm going to show you once it looks nice and neat for you. Okay, Carla, so uh, we're getting there. You have a little bit more of, you can see that kind of whiter, not so good bone here. And uh, the front's getting close to being done. We're going to take off just a little more to give you a little more space. I'll show you that in a minute. All right, Carla, just 
styling it up here. This looks perfect here. Nice and flat. You can see your uh, ligaments up top. Uh, here is a nice, good quality bone here. You can see a little bit of bleeding on the bone there. And we can see if I back up, there's your chromium right there. And plenty of space here between your chromium uh, and the clavicle. Now, when you see your ligaments um, are going to be right under here. You can see some of that right there, actually. So we're very close to that ligament right there. You can see some of the blood vessels there. So that's exactly where we want to be. Um, I'm going to take a picture of that for you when I back up here, just like that. I'm going to look for it from another portal just to make sure it still looks good. Uh, and then we'll be done, hopefully, as long as there's nothing to repair there. Okay, Carla, so here's your AC joint, and then I'm back over here with second. What we're going to do next, we're going to clean up some of the spraying around the top of your rotator cuff with a shaver instrument. It might cause a little bit of bleeding, and we'll control that. I want to make sure you have no rotator cuff tears, like I told you before. We're going to take a look from the top, just to make sure. If we're already in your shoulder, we'll look at every part to make sure there's nothing that um, you're going to have a problem with any time soon. You can see it. All right, Carla, so here we are. I cleaned up some of the spraying. You can see now, if I look to the front, this is your supraspinatus tendon coming right here. The muscle belly is right there. And here's the tendon nicely vascularized. Again, you can see if I let go, there's the blood vessel. And then when I just change my view a little bit, it's a little bit of flow here. And that's the end of that tendon. And that looks just fine. I'll take a picture for you there. Again, it's nice and vascular. Going around to the back, here's your infraspinatus tendon, even more vascular, which is typically the case as well. And that looks just fine. And if I back up, you can see here's the difference between supraspinatus muscle belly and infraspinatus muscle belly, which is right underneath some of the fascia, which we're not going to go after just because there's no need there. So here's the difference. You can see the pro falls in right below. I'm going to take a picture here just to show the two tendons for you. Um, if I rotate your arm, here's the back of the infraspinatus. That looks perfect. And if I externally rotate your arm, here's the front of the supraspinatus, and that looks perfect. We've probed all this area, it's nice and vast, but you have no issues there. So we did a nice subacromial decompression for you. We cleaned up the joint, you can go there for just one sec. Uh, nice subacromial decompression. We cleaned up the joint inside, took away some gray hairs and wrinkles. Here's your distal clavicle resection. Everything went great. Make sure you use lots of ice. Uh, call me if you need me and thank you for your trust.